Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and um, today it's time for me to show you another build that I'm doing in Bath of Exile, the greatest uh, action RPG game ever made, totally free to play on consoles and PC of course, right? And uh, yeah, each league I've done like a couple of videos maybe uh, about how my uh, experience has been with the league, right? Every three months there's a brand new league that brings us brand new content and this uh, this time we're playing Harvest League uh, which is uh, one of the best leagues ever to come into Path of Exile in terms of crafting options uh, because crafting is now just absolutely amazing and you can make insane gear like these gloves which are not really that insane but it has calling strike and unnerve and a lot of ES right and uh, nice uh, uh, resistance uh, craft as well on it on fingerless silk glass right and uh, it's pretty easy to craft everything so if you're looking for a league that uh, you yourself can you know craft everything then this is it I, the only thing that i actually paid that cost me a lot was uh, six links shafts you can start off with five link shafts and uh, still get great damage uh, into red maps and uh, you only need the six link pretty much when you know going against um, serious seven and eight I guess around that time and around that time we should get around 4x at least at the moment this should cost around 3x uh, exalted orbs so it's pretty cheap uh, but yeah definitely just start off with uh, five link and uh, on uh, not six link shelves doesn't cost almost anything at the moment and everything else just nothing really that expensive and I've crafted everything else uh, I've just bought my crystal uh, belt and bought my base for the fingers of silk gloves right because it is hunter and warlord i think it was uh the base here so yeah that's the most expensive things that i've done here anyway um <coughs> first of all i'm gonna show you how the build plays uh, live here as well i guess i've already shown you uh, some uh, footage uh, behind the, my voice here but i mean this is literally one of the best builds that i've ever played this is my most fav favorite build in battle exile that i've ever played now uh, before it was the uh, champion tornado shot uh, with impales which was just absolutely amazing but uh, it got nerfed a lot and i haven't done that uh, for quite some time it might be uh, time to check it out again but yeah cluster jewels got nerfed uh, in terms of impales so i don't know uh, but anyway uh, this is the map uh, that i'm going to show you today t16 with a lot of stuff going on but no extra life at the moment here and some metamorphs additional strong boxes because i have uh, i have a strong box uh yeah, watchstone here uh but then anyway, a sextant here but anyway these are the uh, sextant, sextant modes here i'm trying to spawn my uh, next uh, guardian here hopefully it happens now and let's uh let's just do a quant and i'm gonna show you how it plays but it's it's been so amazingly great so i decided it's time for me to uh, give you guys a glimpse on how it plays and i'm uh, actually using an awakened spell cascade that actually costs an arm and a leg i think i can show you guys 15 exalted orbs so for the sake of this video i'm gonna use my 18 uh, chaos spell cascade maybe i'm uh, gonna switch it uh, in the middle here but Anyway, when we check our damage, uh, this is uh, my damage here, and I'm not using any real insane gear, right? Uh, everything I've done uh, is crafted by myself and some uniques I've just bought, and they aren't really expensive, right? Uh, so if you look at the price of my six link shelves, it's 3.5 x holes. It's not that crazy, right? And everything else I've just crafted. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's do some killing as well, so you can see how this build works in a d16 with metamorphs and it's been a breeze and we did get our guardian so i can actually do another uh, serious eight serious eight is not that hard uh, you just need to uh, switch out some flasks so i'm using a jade flask instead of my wise oak and uh, also i'm using um, also i'm using uh, a regular uh, sulfur flask uh, instead of uh, uh, Cinder Swallow because we don't have any mobs there so I'm just using a free freeze immunity uh, sulfur flask uh, there uh, which works pretty uh, pretty great now the uh, thing is if you can see my let's let's see let, uh, maybe I can pause a little bit here 
if we look at the price of my boots, it's 2C. <laughs> I haven't crafted my boots. Uh, that's the only thing that I need to do is... Uh, but I need to... I, I want to uh, do a proper boots, right? Uh, the easiest way would be to get freeze immunity uh, boots, which would be amazing for Seedrus fight and T16s. But as you can see, I don't really get frozen anywhere. And I am stun immune, right? Uh, thanks to my amulet. And uh, as you can see, it's just so freaking... Oh, now I got frozen. But thanks to our uh, volatile deaths, I can spo spawn my volatile deaths and I don't have to really worry about anything. Okay, I got a little bit hit by the explosion here, but that wasn't too much. Okay, let's do the boss as well here. So a little bit boss damage, T16, no problem, right? And look, look at the clear speed as well, right? It's so amazing. It's just one of the... It's already dead. And I'm not using mirror... The, the, the thing that I rode! To, I almost died. Okay. <laughs> the only thing that... The thing that I hate when looking at builds, right? Is that uh, everybody is posting builds with some crazy gear. Like, like absolutely insane gear. And they still die. And I'm like, dude, you're using mirror, mirror gear, gear and you're still dying in T16s. And uh, it's just... I'm like... It's ne never gonna happen, right, for me. So, uh, all the time that I'm trying to do any, any builds of my own, uh, I try to not use any mirror gear, gear right? Uh, maybe some few exalts here and there, right? But nothing too crazy, right? Something that is uh, acquirable. But anyway, this is the clear speed here that you can expect. And as you can see, it's really nice. All the volatile days go and hunt, uh, you know, over corners everywhere. It's so amazing. It kind of reminds me of tornado shot right uh, that you know chains and stuff like that uh, forks and chains right so it also you know covers enemies around corners but this is just so nice and it's a lot better than you know uh, it's a lot better than minions because I can actually you know concentrate uh, damage into one spot instantly and with minions it's kind of clunky you know right uh, using death mark but anyway uh, yeah this is uh, this is the clear speed and it's just amazing. Uh, we're gonna take a look at my gear and my passive tree as well in a second here. And I'm gonna do the metamorph as well here. So you can see the damage with metamorph. Let's just put everything on the maximum rate. And we do have wall detonated here, which I'm gonna pop off now. And as you can see, uh, yep, Every everybody died. I almost died may maybe as well, but I'm not using mirror deer gear, right? <laughs> Totally acquirable gear. And as you can see, a really great addition that I've left in is Enduring Cry, which regenerates life, but for us, in Energy Shield. And it comes handy in so many places. While leveling, it was just so OP, in my opinion. And it still is pretty good. Uh, so I just left it in here and <laughs> never bothered to remove it. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna take my seeds here as well. Uh, I can show you maybe maybe let's let's show you guys how a harvest goes if I have something I have okay let's harvest here let's go in the middle here pop my flasks and yeah we're pretty much immune right it <laughs> took no damage right and uh, oh add uh, remove a random oh non caster it's not that good anyway this these are the most that I got here I'm gonna come back here later but anyway this is how the build works right really really amazing really le legitimately one of the best builds i've ever placed so how does this build come together now i'm gonna leave a, a little link uh, down below i'm gonna leave my own bop uh, fork uh, link so you can you know check that there as well uh, but i'm gonna leave a forum link down as well which is not my own build but it's the build that i you know looked at when doing this build it doesn't use uh, exactly the same gear uh, i have a small small little difference like uh, i don't have the same boots right uh, i don't have the same rings right i don't have the same helmet there but a lot of stuff is pretty much the same i don't have the same gloves right so it's kind of like my own build but still using some bits from here and there right that i've noticed in boe ninja uh, player uh, players using and also you know some forum guides right and um, anyway uh where to start right so as you can see, yeah, my average damage for Volatile Dead is 37k and Detonate Dead is 60k. It goes, uh, Detonate uh, Dead goes to around 100k at the moment here. 
and I think uh, this went around 70 gain uh, when I was fighting, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, defenses, everything is resistant caps nicely, right? And I do have uh, a little bit chaos resist as well, thanks to our uh, presence of Jaula, right? And I'd say like 14 to 20, not over 20 percent is just almost immortal. You, you feel almost immortal, so you don't really need to uh, cap your chaos resist. Uh, but if you're going hardcore that I'm trying to do with this build, uh, definitely, I, I I would cap it maybe even uh, and maybe get you know some physical damage taken as chaos or something like that, right? Uh, but anyway, let's uh, first look at uh, our passive tree, right? So this is this is the passive tree, and uh, these are the jewels that I'm using. And again, nothing crazy, nothing mirror there, totally acquirable stuff, right? And uh, for our ascendancy, I'm using essence of gluten, right? And uh, Blade bringer with corpse fact and with mistress of sacrifice so a uh, few words here mistress of sacrifice of course gives us uh, the ability to do uh, the offerings to affect us as well so when i'm using uh, when i'm shooting right i'm going to pop my offering and i'm going to get a nice uh, block cha uh, block chance raised so our block chance is 51 and 43 and now it's 25 to 18 so when i'm doing fighting and when i'm popping my uh room is concoction it's almost capped right almost capped and i don't have i need to level up a little bit uh, so i can get this arcane guardian uh guarding as well uh, but i just chose to put this uh corrupted blood cannot be inflicted on me at the moment here but anyway oh god it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit longer video so sorry for uh that but anyway yeah, uh, Essence of Gluten, of course, we can regenerate a little bit of energy sealed, right? And it's just, you know, uh, good to have. And uh, Plague Bringer, if you consume the corpse recently, you and your minions have driven increased area of effect. And we deal uh, more damage and uh, uh, with at least one nearby, nearby enemy still 10% reduced damage, which is pretty okay. And uh, Corpse Pact, 30% increased damage if you've consumed the corpse recently, right? Uh, but 2% uh, increased attack and gas speed for each co corpse consumed recently up to a maximum of 200 enemies. Near corpses you spawn recently are chilled and shocked, so this gives us a nice damage boost. And uh, yeah, corpses have uh, increased max life, so we do a lot more damage, right? Uh, this is the first detonate uh, dead and uh, volatile dead build that I'm actually playing. Uh, so might be a little bit rusty here with stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, using uh, Transcendent Flesh here which is uh, like one exalted orb it does give us a, give us a nice little boost uh, in damage uh, but it does cost one exalt so maybe get it a little bit later not that important and energy from within here uh, pretty cheap i think it's like 50c at the moment so it's pretty nice to have gives us a, a little bit uh, more energy sealed rate and of course we are low life so we're using pain attunement here and uh, for Watcher's Eye, there's a lot of stuff that you can actually get. Uh, I chose to get one of the uh, cheaper ones at the moment with uh, increased critical strike chance against enemies on consecrated ground. So if I uh, have my con con ground um, underneath me, or if I get Bottle Faith, right, which costs 7x uh, this league, uh, then it's a pretty good, um, pretty good jewel to have, you know, uh, to further boost our damage. And... Um, yeah some other stuff i mean just some block nose right and uh, uh reduced mana reserved because we do need uh, to reduce our mana i'm also using charisma to get uh, eight percent reduced mana from here and uh yeah the cluster jewels right uh, pretty easy actually to craft uh, you need lo a large cl cluster jewels with eight passive uh, skills with two added passives that are uh, jewel sockets, right? I think it's like I level 75 plus or something like that. Uh, so uh, take that into consideration. Just buy uh, one that ha already has two added passive skills. And then you uh, need to uh, pretty much... Uh, the best nodes are Conjured Wall and Mage Hunter. Because it does give us a little bit of uh, chance to block spell damage. And here, chance to block spell damage if you cast a spell recently. So 6% and it's like 10% spell uh, block, which is nice. And also, uh, chance to gain a power charge and uh, spell damage rate. But we do get our power charges uh, from uh, here whenever we frenzy rate. So, yeah, we don't need to uh, depend on that uh, too much. Uh, it, not, nothing too 
you know you don't really need these exact right notes right uh, but it's good to have right and uh, just you know uh, try to get uh, one of them and then just uh, uh, like harvest craft uh, a caster mod on it or a def defense mod right so it's pretty easy uh, to do uh, like that and I, I and i found out that uh, harvest crafting is the way to go uh, i tried crafting it with chaos spam with alteration it never happened and then i just uh, used uh, harvest crafting and it was just almost instant <laughs> uh, same goes for our medium cluster jewels uh, both are using uh, precise commander with stalwart uh, commander uh stalwart commander gives us a lot more energy shield uh, thanks to discipline has 30 uh, 30 percent increased aura effect rate and uh, then precise commander gives us a little bit of uh, crit strike uh, multiplier and strict crit strike chance rate and yeah also again these jewels were really easy to craft uh, thanks to forest crafting rate uh, so we just need uh, prefixes right so block the suffixes or something like that with you know uh, maybe like alteration spamming or something like that and then just um, horror craft a critical modifier and a defense modifier on it it's pretty easy to do uh, don't don't buy them it's they're pretty expensive actually i think it's over 2x or something like that and uh, for the last one really cheap jewel uh, like few uh, chaos orbs and then just alteration spam if you don't want to use harvest crafting but if you want to then really easy just find augment the defense modifier on it and uh, you're pretty much uh, good to go here anyway uh yeah I've, i'm just checking i could actually use an uh, exalted orb and uh, get another uh, modifier here but anyway uh, these are the cluster tools and this is pretty much my setup here and as you, as you can see i mean t16s are just a joy to play the entire game is a uh, joy to play never felt really that i was too squishy maybe i was too squishy when i didn't have my shavs because i was low life and on energy shield right uh but chaps were pretty uh cheap already at the start of the league uh, it's just the main thing that you want to get right with uh, presence of Chula, and then you're ready to go on low life now coming into coming into the choose right uh we are using spell slingers here and i'm using the spell slinger uh, enchant on my helmet 10 percent modifier totally fine as you can see many go for 15 percent and uh, crown of the invoker i i think was what was the serious uh, drop helmet uh, which is the best in slot it gives you a lot more damage and i think even more energy shield uh, or maybe not because uh, it does have already 300 i don't think invoker uh, had that much uh let me see here uh, i do have them under my crafting this this one crown of the inward eye right profit crown uh so this is the best slot but 15 percent reduced mana reservation of spell slinger costs well it costs around 80 exalts it's now like 40 exalts so it's totally used pointless absolutely pointless don't get it uh don't get it uh, just uh, buy a cheap helmet uh, i had um a random energy shield uh, helmet at, um, firstly and then upgraded to a hubris and uh, i might you know add an uh, influence modifier on it via um, warlord uh, orb or something like that and get something like uh, nearby enemies have minus max to uh, fire resistance right so that would be the best in slot rate and easy really easy to craft thanks to harvest crafting so yeah that's how i made my helmet here and uh, i'm gonna go over the items maybe quickly before i go to the gems and uh, the one really easy again to craft uh, thanks to uh, thanks to harvest crafting right i am using uh, minion damage uh, here which works as as good as spell damage right because we are using uh, we are using um, spiritual aid here so minion uh, damage applies to our uh, spell damage right so that's what i have here and it's nothing really amazing but then it's totally enough and it's just a it doesn't cost a lot right uh, it's really easy and really cheap to uh, craft uh the second thing let's see here so uh, the most expensive rare items right we don't have uh, a lot of rare items right we have our helmet our wand our gloves and our belt and preferably um, boots but as you can see i've done zero eight i've done uber elder uh, everything i died once in uber elder i died once in zero eight uh, because just was rusty i guess uh but yeah re totally doable with this gear right no real issues uh but anyway uh, moving on to the gloves i talked a little bit earlier right uh, the base is pretty expensive 
and it does cost like uh, I think like seven exalted orbs maybe it might be a little bit cheaper at the moment uh, so hunter and I think it was I think it was warlord right uh, yes warlord so that's the that's the gloves that you want right so you can cast uh, so you can craft cooling strike and unnerve and unnerve was actually pretty hard for me to craft here it's a, cra a caster modifier i only had one caster modifier so i was just hoping to see remove a random caster modifier and add a new caster modifier and i had to do it like four times before i finally hit uh, unnerve uh, t1 unnerve here uh, but still pretty easy to do i never bought any you know harvest crafting stuff never uh, bought any you know seeds or stuff like that uh, everything that i did was I, I did on my own to to see how hard can it be right and it wasn't really hard and um, i left dex on it because i have dex uh, i need dex but then again i could de-level barrage a little bit and uh, i could put de-level the frenzy it doesn't have to be this uh, high level so i really don't need dex i was a little bit uh, stupid but i think uh, but then again, dash does have uh, increased cooldown recovery, so I dash a little bit uh, faster the more text uh, I have, right? So I can have it on a higher level. But I think you don't really need it. So yeah, just um, just craft um, something else here, like uh, more energy sealed or, or something like that, right? Because it is uh, dexterity. Oh no, dexterity is suffix, so more resists or something like that, right? But we don't really need any uh, resists more. Uh, now the belt, uh, the belt was also pretty expensive. I think uh, sh uh, the best one I think is Shaper. I, I chose to go with, uh, God, what was it? Uh, it was Crusader belt, right? It was a little bit cheaper and it still had the cooldown recovery speed that, uh, that we really need because uh, cooldown recovery speed is T1 that we should get also on boots. I think it would might it it might help our damage even uh, further so if you can get cooldown on boots as well i think our damage would go up uh, quite a lot uh, right uh, but anyway uh, yeah uh, just crafted uh, random just chaos spammed it a little bit didn't get anything good uh, but chaos spammed un until i got my cooldown re recovery speed uh, but I think I uh, later just uh, used harvest crafting and uh, until I got a T1 cooldown recovery because it was a little bit cheaper. Uh, I don't know, uh, it was a little bit uh, cheaper and used the caster modifiers uh, or def defense modifiers. And as you can see, I have armor there and I'm still waiting to find uh, you know a remove defense, add a random new d defense mo modifier on an item so i still don't have energy shield here but it's totally fine i have 8.3k es so it's totally fine uh as you could, uh, just saw right and um yeah uh, syntrex one chaos or boots totally fine until end game here even uh right now the, the last thing pretty much that i'm trying to upgrade here of course i could upgrade my rings as well they're not really that good but then again i don't have the 15 percent reduced mana reservation so uh they might be helping me out a little bit here but yeah uh just get uh, one ring with herald of ash has a 15 percent reduced mana reservation and you should be good to go here and then just uh, herald of ash has 15 uh, 50 to or 40 40 to 60 uh, percent increased buff effect and then something else like plus one to max fire res is pretty okay or just fire res which is pretty nice as well and um yeah, of course, presence of Chayula, uh, one of the main things to get early on, uh, the shelves and presence of Chayula should be the first things to get. And presence was like one exalted to two exalted uh, at the very first days of the league. And uh, shelves was, I think, uh, as well, like two X or something like that. And then I just, you know, five linked it via the prophecy and used that until uh, like mid red maps or something like that. And then I finally, you know, bought six, a six link shelves. I don't want to gamble too much uh, with my luck. So I just, you know, paid the price of uh, whatever it was, like four exalts at the time to get a six links uh, shelves. And um, lastly, the shield. Uh, we're using the Prism Guardian. Socket and gems have blood magic, so we can reserve the, our, uh, our life rate. Uh, so we can go low life and get our 30% more damage uh, boost. And I'm using Anger, Discipline, and Zealot Tree here. Uh, so these are the buffs that I'm, uh, the auras that I'm uh, using to reserve my life pool here. And um, 
yeah, uh, coming to the uh, gems themselves, finally, right? Uh, I'm using a trigger a sock that spe a spell when you use a skill uh, craft on my wound here. And I'm using flammability here, bone offering and wave of conviction. So whenever I'm casting, see, I already casted my uh, flammability. So if a boss is here, they have a lot of, a uh, lot less, like, uh, the cursed enemies have plus... No, cursed enemies have minus 44% to fire resistance, so we do a lot more damage to them. And also wave of conviction, you know, which uh, exposure applies minus 25% to elemental resistance, uh, matching the highest damage taken, right? So it's a great damage boost, right? And also bone offering that gives us uh, block and uh, spe block spell and attack damage, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so, uh, next up, uh, what I'm doing to trigger all my spells is Frenzy, uh, linked to Barrage, Power Charge on Crypt and Combustion Support, right? Uh, so that's uh, how we attack and how we uh, actually uh, trigger our spell, spling spell Slinger supports, right? So, because we are using Spell Slinger here and we are using uh, Spell Slinger here, so all of these uh, things that are... Uh, link to the spell slinger are triggered whenever we attack uh, with our wand and uh, frenzy is considered an attack that we fire from our wand and with barrage it does it a, a lot quicker right and uh, yep and we're using spell cascade here uh, with desecrate so we get a lot uh, a lot more corpses and a lot more you know volatile deaths and uh, course uh, detonates and stuff like that, that right so that's that's uh, how I do it, and I have Herald of Ash here uh, as well that uh, reserves mana, but we get a lot more you know damage uh, out of it, right? And uh, yeah, before we go into the, our our main main link, I do have Enduring Cry with Second Wind. So whenever I see uh, my ES go, uh, start going down, the thing that I hate with uh, ES builds is that. Yes, you can't, you know, trigger a flask and your ES would go up, right? So this is the like my flask for uh, my ES re region, and I can play, uh, press it twice, thanks to Second Wind. And Second Wind is also linked to dash, so I can dash really quickly. If I has, I am in a sticky situation. I haven't dashed. I can double dash really quickly away uh, from any dangerous spots. So really uh, works really great, and we get uh, arcane surge as well from it. So that's a really nice setup for. In my opinion, right? So coming to the main link, uh, that is our uh, our Volatile Dead, level 21 here, uh, which is linked to Conk Effect, our Spell Cascade, Elemental Focus, uh, and also Detonate Dead is here with Spell Slinger. So uh, if we reserve uh, our, our mana thanks to Spell Slinger, all of these are triggered when we are shooting from our wand. So Volatile Dead and Detonate Dead, which are really high leveled, and they're actually... Uh, so Volatile Dead and Detonate Dead aren't actually six linked, right? Because uh, they're using... Uh, it's pretty much... It's, it's a four link setup, right? Uh, but still, we... Thanks to Spell Slinger, these work so amazingly well. And uh, thanks to the great, you know, menu... <laughs> the great AI of Volatile Dead, they work better than actual minions. So it is like a minion build, right? But Volatile Dead just, you know, just, they're like heat seekers, right? They hunt down enemies and kill uh, everything that they see, right? And uh, yeah, the damage is great. The build is, it's just absolutely smooth. And I really, really love this build. So if you're looking for a build to play this league in Harvest League and maybe in the next leagues, uh, then definitely consider if they don't really nerf it to the ground somehow. I don't know if it's if it's possible. They can of course do it, but it's just so perfect to play at the moment here, and I really love it. And I really urge you to play the same build and get into end game, do all the maps, do all content in the game. Uber Elder Series Eight without mirror gear, right? Regular ass gear, pretty much, right? And uh, yeah, just. It's just an amazing build. I, now, I do have my flask that I didn't mention. Uh, I am using Groomies, right? Of course, I'm getting the uh, attack uh, block chance and spell uh, block chance, which uh, helps out great. And one thing that I really noticed was Cinder Swallow Urn uh, is, I think, the T1, the best in slot urn here, I, I think. Uh, definitely try to get it as fast as you can. It helps a lot with survivability because uh, we regenerate our energy shield thanks to this. And uh, it's just... A really nice flask to have uh, to help you survive a lot more in mapping 
And that's what I actually noticed. And it doesn't cost you a lot, like 100 C or something like that at the moment, maybe even cheaper at the moment. And uh, why soak? Uh, so we can penetrate uh, 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 more ele uh, elemental resistance, but it actually doesn't work for me right now. Because you can see I have lightning resistance for the longest of times uh, big higher than my uh, fire resistance. So I'm actually penetrating lightning resistance and I still haven't, you know, I didn't want to just remove lightning resistance and, you know, do more damage. Uh, I could, but yeah, I, I don't feel the need that I really need the damage right now. Uh, but of course, this is the thing uh, why I'm using Vice Oak. I still uh, haven't um, done because I want to craft boots, proper boots with uh, resistances. So my fire resistance would naturally go up and then sell this one because it's a pretty decent helmet, I guess, if you add influence on it as well. Or maybe just leave it as is and just add influence and craft my uh, minus max uh, fire res uh, like that, right? So there's a lot of stuff to do in this league. It's one of the better leagues out there. A lot of people don't want this to go core, right? Uh, but I. I really want the crafting options to go gore because it, it makes uh, a lot more sense for players that, you know, don't play hundreds of hours or thousands of hours, right, per league. Uh, so it makes uh, SSF hardcore and stuff like that also much more viable. And it's just a lot more fun to play, right, uh, with all different kinds of builds because there's so much build variety out there. Uh, but thanks to these new crafting methods, uh, we don't have to spend an arm and a leg to buy something like this, or, or maybe this. Actually, they're actually, well, they don't actually cost me an arm and a leg. They don't cost anyone an arm and a leg. <laughs> these are the most expensive items, but it uh, clears T16s just fine. Uh, the only thing that I did uh, was, yeah, I bought the Awakened Spell Cascade, and I don't want to put uh, Awakened Spell Cascade here as well. Uh, should be the best in slot choice, uh, but maybe only one is just enough uh, here. And I'm trying to level it up, but uh, I'm just gonna see how Series 8 is going to feel with Awakened Spell Cascade. Because uh, check this out. So without Awakened Spell Cascade, this is how much balls we do and how quick we do. If I put this thing here, right. We get a lot more balls a lot quicker, so there's a lot more uh, damage quicker. Anyway, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed my pretty long video here. Hope this uh, helped somebody out there who wants to enjoy this league to the fullest, but doesn't want to pay mirrors or like 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 exalts, uh, but still want to do everything that the game has to offer then yeah, this is the build for you guys. Uh, one thing that I do want to do with Awakened as well is T19's 100% Delirious uh, maps, right? Uh, so that's why I bought the Awakened uh, Spell Cascade. That's the end game setup that you want, right? The last thing to upgrade is just buy the Spell Cascade, but it, it is 15 exhaust, so it's pretty hard to justify, but I had the money at the moment, so... Yeah, that's what I chose to do, and I'm gonna try and do 100% delirious maps and see how it goes. But it should clear that as well, with ease even. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you guys later, maybe next league. Maybe before, I don't know, but definitely, I guess, in the next league. Stay safe there, and I'll catch you soon. Ciao for now.